Lights on. Here I am at the Banana Republic opening here at the Beverly Center. It's on the seventh floor here. It's a beautiful, beautiful area tonight. Tonight's the opening of Banana Republic, and we are going here to the opening party here. And the clothes are one of my favorites. It is all khakis and all kinds of... It's, they say polo. Polo is... Actually, Banana Republic is one of the finest clothing around right now. It's one of my favorites. And we are going to go inside and take a look and see. Come on with me, Randy, okay? Let's go. Follow me. Just the Banana Republic, tonight's opening here at the Beverly Center on the seventh floor, and it is a beautiful store. Thank you. We love it. We're very proud of it and excited about it also. And Michael, it's Michael? Daddario. Daliana. Yes. Ah, you're from San Francisco or New York? Uh, New York originally. I live in San Francisco now. It's a great city. I must tell you, I must admit to you, this is one of my favorite clothing, Banana Republic. Not because you're t I'm talking to you, but I love their clothing here. I always, Polo was first, and then Banana Republic came second for me. Oh, that's great to hear. We it's love a, to be compared to places like that. What do you think about Banana Republic clothing today? Why are young people and older people are so fond of this? I think it's because it's, we, our clothing is classics with a modern twist, so you can always find something a little bit exciting, but not look ridiculous. True, and it's old classic, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. It's like Brooks Brothers. Yes. With thing. a little bit of a modern twist. Absolutely. And how did you get into uh, clothing department? Myself? Yes. Um, it was one of those. My dad was a store manager when I was little and I always wanted to know I would be in retail. So I started with a Gap as a store uh -huh. manager. Oh, in Gap? Yes, absolutely. I see. San Francisco, they have a wonderful store there. Right. Uh, Banana Public Store downtown on right. Union Square. How many do we have in L.A. here? Uh, you have seven in L.A. Seven? Right. So it is picking up here, isn't it? Is it is picking up. Business is great. And New York City? New York City, we have nine. Yes. I must tell you, tonight you're having a party, and I understand you have Mamie Van Dorn coming. You have a lot of celebrities coming here. And Herb Ritz, I understand, is coming. Her, Antonio Sabatka is coming, is and, of course, Eartha Kett. Oh, yes, Eartha. Yeah, I saw her last night. She was wonderful. I, I, I saw, saw her actually shopping yesterday. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice for talking to you, and congratulations. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Robert L. from the E! Entertainment. Yes, Hello. that's right. Hi, how are you doing, Scott? Oh my God, you're uh, into uh, this wonderful clothing of... Um uh, not Gap. We're not at Gap. No, we're not Look at Gap. Banana. Banana Republic. Republic. Yes. Isn't it great? And your name is? Darren Cardona. Deliano. I've been speaking to all Italians today. Are you Italian? It's, it's actually Spanish. Oh, that's the same thing. Really. No, but it's close. But I'll be are. Italian. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, you gentlemen, uh, what do you do? I'm an architect. Do you know it's very difficult to find an architect in L.A.? I've never ripped I've always wanted to meet one. I always meet actors, actors, actors. Yeah. So where are the architects? It, Here I am. A lot of them are down in Venice. <laughs> what made you come in tonight? This is the opening of the Banana Republic. The clothing, are you into uh, the clothing here or what? I actually do have a lot of Banana Republic clothing. Uh -huh. I'm not wearing my banana public couture tonight, but... What made a young man yourself get into as an architect? It's a very difficult thing to... As a young man, did you I see Fountainhead when you were young? <laughs> I did read it in college, uh -huh. but I wanted to be an architect. I actually got into houses when I'm, my parents were buying a new house, and we went to model homes, and it just uh -huh. kind of went from there. The entertainment. Yes, I am here for entertainment. I can't wait to see Eartha Kitt. She's oh, such a legend. Night. I saw her at the Roosevelt. She's yes. Beautiful. I don't know what time she's going to get here. How wow. fortunate. The show's at 8 o'clock. Well, the party won't start until she gets here. She sung for Queens, and now tonight she'll sing for a few more. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> You're very charming. Queen, she is the queen of, of uh, whatever she is. She's great. She was great last night, I must tell you. Eartha Kitt was fantastic. Yeah. So anyway, so. tonight here at Banana Republic, and here we are having a We're good here. time. Yeah, and the thank interiors you. look great. Yeah, thank you. you look great. Enjoy yourself. I'll okay. Go ahead. Right. Thank Thanks. You. The Banana Republic, and it is a great party. It's the beginning of the party of Eartha Kitt right. tonight. How are you? Pretty good. And your name is? I'm Jim. Jim. And? I'm Karen. 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 You're here at <laughs> Banana Republic Clothing. Tell me about the clothing of Banana Republic. What yeah. do you think about it? I think it's great. Casual, relaxed. You can wear it anywhere. 
Absolutely. It should be fun. Yeah. And it's very classic. It's very yeah, definitely. It's like old Brooks Brothers. I think it also gives you a great value for what you um, pay for it. So. You're absolutely right. <laughs> absolutely. And they're very good. The khakis, yeah. I love khakis anyway. Yeah, you can live in those. So have you tried anything on yet tonight? Uh, no, but I have a lot at home. Okay, I, I, okay. But this is the new star here in Beverly Hills. And, uh, I mean, in, uh, are we in Hollywood? Oh. We're in Beverly, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Hollywood. Is, it, yeah. is it really? What yeah. do you do? I'm in the fashion business. I sell wholesale. Ah, mm -hmm. So you're in clothing, and you? Right. Uh, advertising. Advertising. So, yeah. Those blue Marketing. eyes, I thought you might be an actor. Oh, okay. well. <laughs> no, no, okay. You're here from uh, Hollywood, California, are you? Uh, yeah, Venice, right, actually, right now. Wow. So, yeah. That's a good place for artists. Exactly. Just the food looks feet. good. The looks food good. looks good. Martinis and are Earth okay. The kids, Earth the kids. She's going to be wild. Now, oh. she's been on your show a That's few times, hasn't she? I saw yeah. her last night. She was absolutely great. Yeah. I don't know what time she's going to be here. Her show right. goes on now. Can't wait for her to growl. Oh. She's got the perfect... <laughs> She'll be great. You're absolutely right. Can't wait. Full great name. excitement. Uh, Jim McClintock. Nice yeah, you too, Skip. Thank you, Skip. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks a lot. Thank you, too. We're going to have a good time, aren't we? Yes, yes. definitely. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? I'm doing great. And your name is? Phil Francis. Phil Francis? Are you? Well, tell me about the Banana Republic clothing. Is that what you have on today? Well, I'm like, you know. <laughs> Not bad. And, and the lovely lady. This is my uh, wife, Joan, and she's a costumer. Oh, so yeah. she's in a business, so she's yeah. the one to dress yeah. me, yeah. Tell me about the Banana Republic clothing. It's so, it's so reasonable and yes. so good. Yes. The best thing I like about it is it's natural fabrics, which is really hard to find. Right. She's going to so go into detail on this, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I want to let you know. So, I mean, for me, for filming, I mean, it's like easy to maintain. Right. And I do a lot of, you know, filming and commercials Why don't you tell television. them some of the films you've done? <laughs> okay. costume. How about you? You're an actor? No, I'm just her husband. Her husband. <laughs> okay. I'm nobody. Oh, we're all somebody. Yes. Oh, okay. And I like Thank the, you, Dr. Ruth. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you, great things are, uh, great men are very, very simple and good. Yes, and they're very, very understated, right? He's being real quiet, yeah, right. Because you know in this business, it has to have somebody like him to support me, right? <laughs> And the other good thing is the clothes are very classic. You can build on them. You, you know, you don't have to worry about next season. It's a big change. It's very what kind classic. Of, what kind of clothing do you do in films? What films have you done? Murder in the First was one of my last big wins. I did a um, um, couple of TV shows, Culture Clash for Fox TV. Yeah. You grew up in the business here? No. I was from Missouri. Missouri? Yeah. Ah, show me. I, Missouri. We I used are, to wear... We are Creoles. We're from Louisiana. I, I love Louisiana. Louisiana is a great, great place. I'm originally from Mississippi. Ah, yeah. yeah, we're Creoles. We speak a broken French called Creole. So French people say, Comment allez-vous? We say, Comment ça va? Which is a, like a... Uh, now, Eartha Kitt, she is... She's Creole, yeah. She's Creole. Yeah. I interviewed her. And that's why we like the, the big easy, because it's like a uh, Creole. And also this Cajun uh, film, what's it called? Um, Belgian occasion. Yeah. Yes. You're going to love Eartha Kitt. I saw her show last night. She's performing here tonight. We've seen just... her many times. I'm sure you have. Yeah. She's great. She's fabulous. Yeah, she's going to be late, but that's okay. That's okay. That's Enjoy the food. Stars Enjoy it. it. Thank you. Nice Thank you very you. much. <laughs> Rick Fox. Rick Fox. Tell me about Fox the Fox with an F. Ah, Rick Fox. Oh, here I go. Military Reserve. Is this... Tell me about this. Uh... Your military reserve. What's tonight you were uh, where? I was invited here to with a, with a friend. Uh -huh. uh, but your outfit, I'm just I'm looking at your jacket. Well, I'm with the California State Military Reserve. Ah, okay. Okay, and um, between, uh, uh, well, we're between, uh, how do you say, not maneuvers right now, but uh, we'll have some downtime. I see. Tell me about the clothing of, uh, this is like Brooks Brothers. You know, Banana Republic is very conservative. Mm -hmm. Do you like their clothing, the khakis and their loose clothing? Uh, the casuals, probably. The casuals, yeah. Yes. yeah. What do you think is so good about it? The price is reasonable. Uh, well, I haven't looked at all the price tags yet, but uh -huh. uh, probably comfort. What do you do in life for life? You're an actor? Or? Oh, I've done about uh, maybe 10 movies myself. Uh -huh. uh, former Hollywood uh, musical celebrity from some years ago. Oh, okay. I like the name, Rick. R-I-K, Fox. That's, uh, uh, as you hear it, that's how it's spelled. What's the last thing you've done in films? Uh, oh boy, that was a while ago. Um, uh, I think it was with uh, Mel uh, Melissa. Gilbert? No, 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 no. Uh, from uh, oh, with the black hair, Melissa, Mel Alyssa Milano. Oh, okay. Great, a good actress. Yeah, and. Uh, um, 
Not Nicholas Cage, the other one with the side side. But enjoy yeah. yourself here we have. Okay? All right, thank nice you very much. You. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Having a great time this evening, and here I am with Stephen Lennon. Yes. yes. Good. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Los Angeles. It's, it's Los Angeles. Prices are so reasonable and so good. The clothing is so good. Fabulous. What makes it? Is it? No. Okay. Style. The style. The style. Very good quality um, for the money. Uh -huh. For the um, money. For yes. the money. <laughs> but I've got many things at Banana Republic that you just don't see anywhere else, and that's what I really like about this store. That's interesting. Yes. Now, Polo or Brooks Brothers, you, it's a total difference. Yeah, kind of boring. But it still has a little, it has Polo and Brooks, but a little up-to-date, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very much so. You'll find, I've gone to Banana Republic for several years now, and I've found over the years, I could buy something for my daughter, I could buy something for myself, and it wouldn't be a matter of us are, you know, crossing generations. It was always appropriate for both of us. How about him? Is it your oh, husband? yes. But she's mm -hmm. the shopper. She's the expert. You don't come in shopping? <laughs> Very seldom. I'm the designated shopper. <laughs> you look good together, you two. Thank you very much. Yeah. Clothes are, I love their clothes. It's very conservative and very good. I love it. I, I'm a Brooks Brothers boy and a Polo boy, but now I'm a Banana Republic boy. Wonderful. And I love it. It's a beautiful store, Never, too. This really is. It is this huge. Here at the Beverly Center on the seventh floor. I didn't even know there was a seventh floor. No. No, I didn't. We kept coming up and up. And, uh -huh. I, I was going to movies, I but this is as close as I'm getting to heaven. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a good party. Eartha Kitt's going to be here this evening, oh, which I saw favorite. her last night at the Roosevelt. And you're going to love her performance. I don't know. She's really looking forward oh, to. She's it. great. She's absolutely great. I love it. And it's a very good crowd turnout. Isn't it? Like, it's Big turnout. We thought we would get here early and beat the crowd, and it was already it's jammed. Getting, it's getting there. Right. Nice talking to you. Nice. Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you. Oh, I love your posing, you darn naughty boy. Hi, how are you? I'm Skip Lowe. How are you? I wish I would have came in drag. <laughs> boy, I hope, I hope your sex life is busy as that jacket. How are you guys doing? Skip. Great, fabulous, fabulous party. How are you? Fine. You look What's good. What's happening here tonight at the Polo? I mean, uh, Banana you know, Republic. Republic. Banana Republic, their flagship store, Eartha Kitt's Eartha performing, Kitt. Hollywood. I saw her last night at the Roosevelt. She is I heard just she's brilliant. Great. Yes. You're gonna, she's gonna rock the fabulous. Place oh, it'll be direct, fabulous. Brad, Bradley Direct uh, designed the party. Yes, Did I work really? for the company that designed the party. Tell me yes. about the. Tell me about. Randall, that yes. jacket is beautiful too. Oh, Tell me you. about that jacket. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, you never know when you're going to need a full-length mirror, so why not have three on your I, lapel? I love it. I love Thanks. your outfit. Look Thanks. at that outfit. Thanks. Who am I talking to? In case that you need to stop and to drag <laughs> no, me. No, 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 I didn't. Who um, am I talking? My name's Bradley Picklesheimer. I work for the company Silver Birches, uh -huh. who designed uh, this soiree. Right. Yes, for Banana Republic. Uh, their Banana flag. Republic. I'm Shishi LaRue. Shishi LaRue. Oh, boy. She, she, I'm great, darling. I haven't seen you, you in a long time. Me out of not out of drag, no. <laughs> Shishi LaRue is one of the finest entertainers. Charles Pierce and Jim Bailey. Reboot. Yes, oh, LaRue. Just international porn director. With those old bitches. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love that. Yes, we just we just actually got back from Paris. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Yes. Uh, we had a great time. We were in Paris for a month. Uh, Paris is my favorite city. Just Me great. too. You speak French. Bonsoir, bonjour. How about so uh, Gypsy? So <laughs> I heard the Gypsy's in the Caribbean doing Lacage. That's where he's at. I wonder where he's in. Tell me about this beautiful store here at the Beverly Center. This is their new flagship store that they're opening. This is their big opening party, and they are opening 100 stores across the country. 100? Yes. And, and this starts the process of their design, the end of their design right. uh, fruitation of, of blending everything together as well as opening new lines that they are doing uh -huh. just for Banana Republic. I for instance, leather. Is not Banana Republic. <laughs> no, this is I not. Mean, I want to know. I want to know about a Banana Republic clothing. Why is so good, so reasonable? Why are people um, walking into the stores? Uh, because because the quality of the clothing, of course, but also I think it's the organic materials and all the natural fibers and stuff. People really, and especially California. Hello. Yes, yes. You know. It really, I love it. Yes. It's one yeah, of my favorites. Beautiful. The khakis, loose yeah. khakis, loose things. Absolutely. Tonight we have Eartha Kitt performing. Oh, and she'll and be incredible. 
incredible. He's going to rock this room yes. here. We're on the seventh floor. Yes, Hollywood. The only word that needs no translation. <laughs> I don't either. It's great. I love Thank it. Thank you. My nice pleasure, Skippy. You, My pleasure. Nice talking to you, Skippy, Thank darling. Nice Thanks, honey. Thank you. They. Hi, here I am with Tony and Kai. Kai, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You're Kai. Ah, okay. Kai, tell me about the Banana Republic clothing. You wear it, I see. Um, actually, I don't know that any of this is Banana Republic. However, it soon will be. It's a great store. Look at it. It's have very glamorous. In, have you been to the other ones? In, like, there's nine of them here in L.A. Actually, they just, uh, from what I understand, moved from another location in Beverly Center to this one, which is much larger. And, uh, We're on the seventh floor here at the Beverly Center. I, I didn't even know there was a seventh floor. <laughs> I just discovered it this evening. It's the most confusing mall. Have you tried to park here yet? No, no. The Beverly Center is not confusing. It's very easy. But tell me about the clothing. What makes it so popular? Is it the price or is it because it's so casual? What? <laughs> I actually think because it's so versatile, you can actually wear it to work, you can wear it uh, with jeans. Um, do you like the khakis? The khakis. Very much Yeah, so. I do too. Very I'm much very so. It's khakis. actually what I'm wearing. I see. You like loose trousers. Mm. <laughs> Nothing clinger. Hey, now. <laughs> right. Oh, it's good. From? Here, I'm from, uh, uh, yes, yeah. from Los Angeles. Oh, it's a good clothing line because you can wear it to work, you can wear it right. for weekends, it's not really expensive. It's a good thing. I understand know? we have Eartha Kitt performing this evening. Wonderful. And I saw her last night. She was just fantastic. You're in a lovely Definitely. Show. Looking forward to that. It is great. Oh, Banana Republic certainly knows how to throw a party. They certainly do, don't they? And I think well, it's great too that they're actually giving a donation to AIDS Project Los Angeles. It's well, nice to see somebody like uh, Banana Republic. Is that why you're here? Sure. Because, because of the AIDS thing. Well, I Definitely. think that in you know in today's community, in today's marketplace, you have to be sensitive to who not only uh, forgive the term your audience is, but it's it's a great charity and it's a charity that that comes under scrutiny for ridiculous reasons you know it's one of the forefronts in the hiv community that stood up for what they believed in and they service a lot of people and i think that i think that the banana public was very smart to tie them in to a project like that i mean and give the money to them because first of all they deserve it and they need it right and it, it provides, a, provides a lot of exposure for banana republic on a certain level which i think is important for them to maintain for their image are you uh in the business at all? Yes. yes. I work as a personal manager and a feature film producer. I knew that, the way you talk. <laughs> and you? I actually work in the HIV uh, community, you nonprofit do. sector, and oh, also nice. for a pharmaceutical company. So this is very dear to your heart. Definitely. Definitely. Very nice talking to you Thank both. You. You're Thank both you. Both young, much. charming men. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Here I am with Jerk. Jerk? Yes. Here we're at the Banana Republic party this evening. Yes. Good looking guy like you, young. Are you an actor? No, I'm not. You're not. What no. do you do? Banking. Pardon me? Investment banking. Investment. Now, don't lie to me. Come on, Dirk. You can't lie to Skippy Low. No, I can't. <laughs> what do you do, Dirk? You're an actor? No. No? Really, I'm not. You're not. I'm making. So yeah. Well, Dirk I've done some acting, but... You have. Concentrating on the market now. Tell me about the clothing here at the... Uh, it's beautiful. Republic. Yes. It's beautiful. High quality clothes. I like it. It's got a good style. Do you wear Freedom. Banana Republic clothing, do you? Sure do. Yes. What makes a uh, young man like you wearing this type of material? So I'm looking at you. Matter of fact, you have the Banana Republic trousers. Yes, right? I sure do. Those trousers. Where are you from originally? Uh, Beirut, Lebanon. Are you really? Yes, You're I Lebanese. Am. Lebanese. Oh, nice. Those eyes. That's it. <laughs> you know, I worked Beirut in the '60s, early '60s, at a hotel, an international hotel. It used to be a great hotel, and they bombed it. It was great. Were you there? The, yes, I certainly was. I I was in uh, Beirut when it was the Paris of the Middle East. And that's when Beirut was beautiful. Oh, it was the most the wonderful. That's right. It was the Mediterranean. Exquisite. It was exquisite. My favorite place right now is Morocco. So I go to Morocco back and forth. Beautiful. Tell me about a young man like you coming from Lebanese, good looking as you are, not an actor. Why? I think everyone's an actor out here. Pardon me? Uh, why am I not an actor? Yeah, why um, not getting into the business or something? Uh, it's, it's because uh, the logic behind it. It's I want more congruent form of you know stability. Something tonight, tonight we have Earth the Kit performing. And what, have you ever seen Earth the Kit? Yeah. No, I have not. This is my first time. Is it? Way she is. I I saw her in Turkey. She's she, she did a lot of performing in Turkey and Beirut. Yes, she's of course she's, she's overseas. Do some stuff here tonight. I know. I'm very excited to she see her. She is really brilliant. You're gonna brought me all the way here from Lebanon. <laughs> very nice talking to you. Very nice talking to you. Here I am. This party is just going wild and wild and wild at the Banana Republican. Are we having a good time? Oh, yeah, I'm oh, having yes. a great time. Who am I speaking to? Glenna. Glenna? Yes. Hi. Hi. Hello. What made you come tonight to the party? 
Something new, something different. Something different, something new. The clothing, do you buy the Banana Republic clothing, do you? Every now and then. You do? Mm -hmm. What makes it so popular? What do you think? It's comfortable. Comfortable? Relax. It is, isn't it? Yes. And loose. Yes. And very reasonable. The price right. Is reasonable, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's good for everyone. Yes. Yes. So where are you from originally? Originally, a little bit of everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> Waco, Texas. Party. Tonight okay, we have that exciting you. lady, Eartha Kitt, yes. here. Wow. Eartha Kitt. Can you Great. imagine? I saw her last night. She is exciting. Have is you she? seen? No, I've never seen her live. Never? Well, no. you're going to find that stage very exciting this oh, evening. Oh, good. Girls. Enjoy yourself and Thanks. have a good time. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. At the Banana Republic party. Boy, is that a good time here, aren't we? One of the most classy parties we've ever been to. Oh, come on. You can't now, say that. Dear, yes, you've been I around can. the world. No, it's low key. <laughs> and the caviar is oh, no. right in that corner. Oh, okay, and I, I think seen it's that yet. Oh, Yeah, well, no. they're keeping it hidden. Oh. For a store opening. This is one of the classiest oh, parties we've talking. ever Sorry, been to. Sorry, I didn't qualify it. Sorry. This is a Who wonderful Bill Vogel and, and Joan, Joan Vogel. Vogel. Oh, nice talking to you. Bob. Nice, nice to talk to you. What do you do? You're in, in the entertainment business, a clothing I'm, business? Or? No, I'm in the food business. I have a cooking at the Pacific Design Center. Ah, cooking scoop. That's, yes. That is becoming very popular now. It is becoming very popular. Now, why? Why so? Uh, yeah, because... No. Yeah, but you know, there's so much more available now than there ever was, and a lot of high quality things, and you can do things in five minutes. You're right. You're right. You're so, a very lovely lady. Well, thank you very much. Did you write a book about this? Or? Yes. You did? No, I haven't yet. But I just should. started. Thank you. Right. And you? I'm a marketing consultant. I have clients all over the world that I do marketing for. Uh, the Banana Republic isn't one of them, but I'd love to. The clothing, tell me. It's the so clothing relaxing. is wonderful. Yes. And the prices are reasonable. Yes, it's a great value for the money, and it makes someone my age feel younger. <laughs> it, does. it does, yes. I like Brooks Brothers. I've always liked Brooks. I like Polo. Mm -hmm. But now I Billy discovered... Likes Brooks Brothers yeah, I too. do too. I discovered... Uh, this is very Brooksy and very polo -ish. Yes, but it's very contemporary understated in a, and, in a contemporary and classic. Way. Yes. Yeah, it's wonderful. And this is a, a wonderful opening it is. to get an invitation like they sent out in this town to stop yes. people... <laughs> who are always busy running around doing things right. to come to a clothing store a is a wonderful yeah, way to do it. Yeah, I mean, it. they really wanted to pack a wallop, so they made it oversized and terribly simple. And awesome. That's what, you know, great men are usually simple and good. <laughs> great women. Uh, well, that's great people, I should oh, say. Okay. I'll Very say complicated. People. I see. Well, I see. You know what I mean. But anyway, anyway. Eric the Kid's going to perform in a few minutes. We're looking oh, forward to that. I saw her last night at the Rosie. Uh, night. She was Center Grill. Is she playing there? Huh? Absolutely great. Um, She's there three weeks. And really? Fabulous. And how did the how did they get her here tonight? I don't know. Got to ask the right That's people. Great. But this the show is, is on at the Roosevelt now, and uh, she's she there now performing. And the show is on, and they're going to dash her over here, and we're going to have a good time. So great. We're yourself. looking forward Thank to it. Thank you very much. You. Your name is Joan. Joan. Vogel. Joan and Bill Vogel. Hi. Skippy Low. <laughs> nice seeing you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. This food, take a look at this food here. Oh, they are going all the way. The salmon, but look at this. What is all this? What is all this? Fresh, who am I delicious stuff. Look who am I talking to. His name is? Mike Silverman. Mike Silverman, one of the greatest um, uh, Real realtors in, in, in California. Michael, chew your food. I'll let you talk and carry on. But the food is so good here. Mm. And the invitation, what an invitation they sent out. I never saw the invitation. You didn't get one? No. Oh, it's a beautiful invitation they made. Mm. And not only that, uh, tonight we have Eartha Kitt here performing. Oh, I love it. Mike her. Silverman, how is the real estate here in California now? Is it going up or down? It's, st it's starting to prick up. It's starting to go up. And uh, we're full of optimism. Uh-huh. And I, I'm, by, by nature, I'm an optimist. Are you really? And it's going to be, it has been wonderful, and it's going to be wonderful. It is, yes. Tell me about the Stars Homes. You've been selling homes to the Stars. You sell many, many homes. Who's some of the celebrities that you've sold? They might date me, though. Go ahead. That's okay. I'm a Cary Grant. Really? Judy Garland. How about uh, uh, Frank, Frank Sinatra? Tell me about Cary Grant. What kind of a guy was he, really? A divine gentleman. A gentleman. I mean, a real, true gentleman. And he had a wonderful attitude. And people like Harry Grant, Audrey Hepburn should never die. They should be with us forever. And and you, let's, let's, let's include you and me. 
That was old Hollywood, Michael. That was really old Hollywood. Tonight here at the uh, Banana Republic, they're having Earth the Kit perform, and they're going to have all these wonderful young people here tonight. It's exciting here. Hollywood just keeps going on. What do you think about the young in Hollywood, just how they keep doing it? I think it's amazing how they come from nowhere and they develop their own persona. Right. And they uh, really, it's amazing how it goes on and on. And uh, you think it has to stop. But uh, uh, where is Eartha Kid? I have something nice to tell her. Uh -huh. she, 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 she's here tonight? Who's that? Eartha Kid. Eartha Kid is coming. She's oh, okay. at the Roosevelt Hotel performing. Uh -huh. She's on her way here tonight. She's going to be performing around 9.30ish. All right. Be here, so don't leave. You'll see her at the court. Okay? Yeah, and you'll you'll introduce yeah, re, reintroduce me. I will. I, I enjoy speaking you knew, with you. You knew her. You oh knew, yeah. You probably. There's a show she did with Robert Clary. It's it's gr new faces of 1950. You remember that? Of Love course, is of course. a something. Da, da, she'll da, be da. performing that tonight. Would she? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. And where, Clary, where, will that be what's, here? What's what's Mrs. Logan? Clary, what's the matter with me? What's the matter with me? You're I'm in love. Model. You remember all that stuff. Course, you are course, sensational. Course, this is Hollywood. <laughs> nice talking to you, Michael. Always a pleasure. Enjoy your enjoy. May, may I continue? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Banana Republic party and it is getting madder and madder here and everyone's waiting for Eartha Kit and I don't know if they're waiting for Eartha Kit or just having a good time with the food and uh, and the clothing. Tell me about it. Um, we're just here enjoying ourselves. We're, we're actually waiting for Eartha Kit I right love your now. Jacket. Is Thank it you. Banana Republic? No, it's not. It is. It's yours. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're a designer. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. It's mine now. I mean, Pardon me. It's mine now. It's yours now because I have several like that myself. Oh. I wear. Okay. But uh, I love it. It's so casual. Linen is very easy, yes. very simple. Mm -hmm. What makes a Banana Republic's clothing so easy and remarkable and reasonable? What makes? What do you think of why people are demanding this kind of clothing? Um, I think just because they fit so easily. easily. Uh -huh. You know, I'm very small, and they have a size zero to two. Right. And that fits me perfectly, and I'm tall, uh -huh. and I don't have any problems with the length. So you love at the all. clothing? I've been a shopper since 1987. Really? Thankfully, I always go there first. Everything I have on. It's all Banana Republic. It's, yes. uh, it's great. It looks It's very classy and very simple. It's under, understated. That's what I love about it. Isn't that right? Yes. You look like understated, young man. What do you do? Thank you. I work for a record company. Sorry? I work for a record company. Uh-huh. I do marketing. Marketing? Mm -hmm. Who some of the people are uh, the stars in that record company? Um, well, we represent Whitney Houston, Tony Braxton, SWV, Kenny G. Most people. Very good. And you? I work for Prudential Insurance Company. Oh. So I'm very conservative. And I think I'm a typical Banana Republic girl, wouldn't you say? So you two are very conservative. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Living in Hollywood. Okay. And look how, look how conservative this lady is. I'm going to go talk to her. Okay. <laughs> well, who am I talking here to? Lali, Lali, Lolo, how are you? Ah, you are. Oh, you look wonderful. It's Alexis Alago, darling. It is Marlena. Oh, la, la. You look wonderful, darling. And tell me, you're coming into the Banana Republic all the time. For Eartha Kitt. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, she's my old friend. I know. She'll be here this evening. I saw her last night at the uh, Roosevelt. I seen her all over. Ah, you look wonderful. Thank you. I brought her book with me. Ah, you're going to have to sign it. And she it. was going to sign it, my darling. You know, she's so busy always. She, we never get together. Tell me about this young lady. You're a designer. You you design. Yes, I'm a designer. Uh -huh. And you're from New York City. And yes, darling. And tell me your full name again. Alexis Delago. Ah, Alexis. Ah. Everybody knew you knew who I was or who right. I am. Ah, you look. It's, go ahead. It's this new Hollywood people. Who are you with, my dear? Who are some of the people you're with? Ah, oh, come talk. here. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? What's yeah, your name? How are you? Todd Geyer. Uh, so Todd. You got, you got a good escort here. Yes, he's my very dear friend. And red hair and. Alexis, a wonderful designer. Yes, I Has know. Has she designed anything for you? No, this is. I just got this stuff off the rack. Oh, okay. Nothing special. Oh, okay. And you know, everything I'm wearing, I I bought in Rome. You did? Oh, that's right. You lived in Rome. Probably. Yes. 
So you're living in Hollywood now. You're right. from New York. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Banana Republic clothing. Do you like it? I love it. Why, do you, why does Alexis love it? The Banana Republic? Yes. I am from Argentina, you know. <laughs> We were never a banana republic, but I have lots of friends in Panama, and I know what it's all about. We are making a joke out of it now. Are you an actor? Yes, I am. Yeah. You've got a good style. Red hair. Natural. Thank you. And I had a great time at your birthday party. I was there with Holly. Oh, Holly Ball. Yeah. Holly Ball. Yeah. yeah, we came together. I didn't, well, how come I didn't see you? Well, you did, but there was a million people around you. I was ill. I was ill. I was ill. Yeah. But anyway, nice seeing you here. Me too. Evening. Sweet, 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 sweet. Thank, Thank you, darling Skippy. You're a great interviewer. Thank you. Here I am at the Banana Republic party. It is getting crazier here. They're all waiting for Eartha Kit. I don't know if they're waiting for Eartha Kit, the food, or what? What do you think? The caviar. The, the caviar. The Eartha beluga. Kit. We were promised Eartha beluga. Kit. They do have I was caviar promised here. Beluga, I was promised I was beluga. Promised Eartha. One or the other. <laughs> Name? Sorry. Who am I talking to? I'm Frank, and I'm from Christoph's in Beverly Hills. Oh, great. Kimbo, the same. So tell me about Eartha Kit, and tell me about the Banana Republic opening. They moved their store here to the Beverly Center. Tonight's the big opening. I understand they moved it from somewhere else. This is the ninth store. Beautiful. It is it's ex gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Tell me about the Banana Republic clothing. Uh, which we don't so wear. Which we're not wearing. <laughs> You're not wearing Just that. underwear. Oh, that, yeah. Bo boxers? But we really can't show everybody no, right now. <laughs> no, I came because it's also with APLA and involvement, which is very dear to my heart. And, We're uh, going to have a good time. It seems the food is wonderful. The people oh, are having a good beautiful time. Beautiful people. And absolutely. Beautiful people. You're here. Beautiful time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, stop. Stop, stop. No, don't. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Have a Thank wonderful you. evening. A good time here. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter, are you involved with the uh, Banana Republic or are you a designer? Or mm, not yet. I'm a hairdresser. I work at Christoph Salon. Ah, I just interviewed two others Yeah, Christelle. we came together. The best. I love your hairdo. Thanks, is that thanks. Is Crystal hairdo or is that your hairdo? It's Frank's hairdo. Frank's? The one who you just, oh, who just was here. Sure, you can have it. <laughs> I'm from Belgium. Oh, my favorite place. Is Belgium, it? of course. I, love I just arrived here a few months ago. Uh -huh. You haven't been in America before? This no, first time? yeah. Uh -huh. And I stay here. Oh, what made you come here? From, from Belgium. It's so beautiful. Germany, France, why not? I, li I like it so much better here. You do? The yeah. Weather, the weather, definitely. The sun. This is a party of all parties. Look around you. It is oh. like. It is the most beautiful people in the world here. Are I you know. at Crystal's and uh, Crystal's in Beverly Hills? Christophs, yeah. In Beverly Hills, Christophs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He did. Uh, I think he did the president's wife. Yeah. At the beginning. Even today he did it. Still. Yeah. He's, He's still like doing it. Yeah. Oh, sure. What kind of a guy is Christophs? Oh. He's very nice. He? I love to work with him. Uh, you have great eyes. You know that. Thank you very much. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Enjoy yourself at the party. Okay. Thank you, so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. We're here at Christelle's, and uh, guess what? We're here at the Banana Republic opening, and it is the entrance right now, and it seems like everybody is coming in here tonight. It is just beautiful. They're all coming to see Eartha Kit, the food, or whatever. Okay. Here I am at the uh, Banana Republic party, and it's getting busier and busier here, aren't we? Yeah, it yeah. is. It's quite a party. It is quite a party. Yes, the it is. Invitation. Did you get the invitation how beautiful it was? Yes. It was magnificent. Is that what made you come up? I love your outfit. It's beautiful. It's the table, can you tell? I, yes. I'm coordinated. I know, and I love it. She's very beautiful. She is quite beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> Robin. Robin. Are you an artist? Lovely. How about you? Just looking lovely. Oh, you do look lovely. <laughs> Unshaved, but lovely. So where are you? <laughs> what are you, where my are you? father? 
Where are you from originally? Uh, New Mexico. New Santa Fe? Yes. That's where I want to move to. I want to get out of California and go to Santa Fe, and I love it. Is that where you're living now? Uh, no, I live here in Los Angeles. I want to move with Kim Stanley to Santa Fe. That's where she's at. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. We have a lovely, lovely... Oh, they really did a great job here. They did. I, I, I like Brooks Brothers. It's very understated. And I think the Banana Republic's the same thing as well. I thought so, but I think it's gotten funkier. Yes. The first one I said that. I love it. It looks yeah. like it. Uh-huh. What makes it funkier? You know, I have no idea. I don't really know Banana Republic's clothing not, at it, all. You don't? Not no. <laughs> it's, it's usually much more traditional. Oh, I see. And now. Like, this is very un-Banana Republic. Yes, 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 I agree with you. <laughs> very nice talking to you. You there. too. Robin. I'm Brian. Thank you, Brian. Enjoy your evening. Take care. You too. Nice. Caviar is right over there. Earth the Kit's coming right up. Thank we'll you. We'll be here. Can I interview you? May I? Brand Wilder here at the Banana Republic here at the Beverly Center. And it is going crazy, am I right? Crazy. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's insane. Wow. It's, well, Eartha Kitt, they're waiting for Eartha Kitt. It's an amazing store. It, isn't it? It's, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. This beautiful. is their ninth one, I understand. They moved it from somewhere else. I don't know. Tell me what the Banana Republic clothing, why is it so popular now? It represents what's, what the type of style that's actually just very popular right now, very casual. It's very soft, right. it's neutral soft. colors. Well, I just interviewed someone said it's kind of funky, too. I don't find it funky. I, don't, I, I don't find know. it more on the conservative. And, and very understated. Am definitely I right? understated. Comfortable. I don't think it's funky. Actually, I think it's conservative, casual. And it's very reasonable. The price is very wearable, actually. Yeah. They're very wearable clothes. Very reasonable, too. It's classic. Very reasonable. Very, very Who am I talking to? My name's Elizabeth. And you're an actor. Actually, I'm a doctor. Doctor. Yes. Interesting. Psychologist. <laughs> Just an MP doctor. I'm a chiropractor. I go to one every day. Good. Good for you. How about you? My name's Ronald. And uh, what do you do, Ronald? I'm a designer. Designer. Okay. Hairdo like that. You've got to be a designer. <laughs> Very nice talking to you. Nice talking to talking. you also. Thank, Thank you. you. Earth, the kit's coming up, I understand, real soon. That's what we're waiting We can't for. wait. I saw her last night at the Roosevelt. She's wonderful. Wait to see her. Great. She's going to lecture. To this is her. Yes, definitely. Enjoy Thank yourself. Bye-bye. Uncensored. Hi, 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 hi. Boy, this party is getting wilder here at the Beverly Center. What do you think? I think it's wonderful. You made it most... Fabulous store. It is. It's incredible. The, in the, the invitation is just incredible. Did you open that invitation? We couldn't miss it. It is big. It is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Tell me, who am I talking to, first of all? Peter Hall. Yes, hi. And Luna. And Luna, your lovely yes. wife. Yes, my wife. Tell me, what are you doing nowadays? What, I'm in the investment business with M.L. Stern, Beverly Hills. And Great. Your wife's very in, well, yeah. She's, doing, she's a housewife. Sure, she's doing so, modeling. Yeah, she and she stays home. I'm in business. Denmark, Copenhagen. Oh, I just interviewed two people from Denmark. There he is, right there with the green. Oh, okay. There he is in that green outfit. It's an international party. Yeah, it is. Yes. Wait to see. International, wait to see. They have an international singing star by the name of Miss Eartha Kitt. Eartha Kitt. And she's incredible. Fan. I saw her last night at the Roosevelt, and you're going to love her. She's so dynamite. It's a great job. Okay. Thank you, Skip. Thank you, Skip. Hi. Yes, Skip. behind you. Okay. Say hello to Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Peter Hall. Nice to meet Hi. you. Great. Hi, Luna. How are you? Luna. Wow. Tall girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Skip. Thank you. Good to see you. Just having to walk into the light. Jeffrey, how are you doing? Jeff, Jeff's a wonderful you? artist. Wow, what a girl. I know, Jeffrey. I'm talking to you, Jeff. Wonderful <laughs> artist. Wonderful Hi. artist here in L.A. And how are you doing, Jeff? Actually, I just got here. I'm having a wonderful time. The prosciutto is excellent. The shrimp is even better. And the girls are marvelous. I told you. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a good time. You're all yes. Ready I didn't. Have, actually, I came from work. I was painting. So I didn't, I didn't change clothes. Did you have trouble getting in? Yeah. Not a bit. Good. And it's so good to see you. I told them I was here to see you. Absolutely. And they just said, come on come in. Come on in. Okay, Jeffries. So. Uh, Jeffries, uh, you you're just had an art show just recently. I did, too. I have a show opening in Portland last Thursday night. Right. Tell me 
me something about your work. Your, uh, some people don't know about your work. Tell, tell us about your work. Just some little... people don't know about my work. Well, That's true. A but, it's a big world. I know, but tell us about what your photography is all about. Truth and beauty. Truth and beauty? How's that that's for two a, that's words? That's interesting. I, I like that. That is like a. I do too. They say, they say a real, they say a, a true man is like. Oh, what is that word? The word is uh, good and simple. I strive for simplicity. The, the simpler I get, the better I get. Seems like. That seems that way. You were an actor before, and you gave up acting. And well, no, actually, I, I, I still, uh, I still work. Sure. I mean, I only want to work in my own things, but yeah, once an actor, always an actor. Okay. We have a lot of great people coming here I tonight. I noticed that. And you look around, enjoy yourselves, okay, Jeff? Bright Jeff, lights. Jeff Reese. You look great. Thank you. Very so nice to see you. Nice seeing you, Jeff. Go ahead. Good evening. I'm Michael D'Addario, the Executive Vice President of Stores and Operations for Banana Republic. I'd like to welcome all of you this evening, and thank you for coming. We're very excited about our new store here at the Beverly Center. And now, I'd like to introduce the Executive Director. He's taller than I am. As a way to share in our excitement about our new store, we've invited the divine Miss Eartha Kitt to perform for us this evening. We have, we have banana re
Ah, I love that name, Annette Warren. Is that oh, your real thank name? Thank you. No, my brother, my brother's name was Warren, and my father's name was Warren. Their first name. Uh -huh. My name was Annette Werwage, Wer and that wasn't very theatrical. Uh, so I took their name and made the it Annette Warren. Mystery lady of Hollywood, <laughs> you girl. Oh, my dear, tell me about this voice of yours, the mystery voice. <laughs> I well, mean, which this, mystery are you talking about? I'm talking about <laughs> Lucille Ball and uh -huh. Ava Gardner and these great movies that you did yeah. the singing for yes. in these wonderful yes. films yeah. and didn't get screen credit. No, no. Why? Well, in those days, they wanted to give the illusion that the star was doing the singing, and so uh, we didn't get credit. I, but it, what, what is so astounding, Skippy, mm -hmm. is that that was something I did 40 years ago, and it's coming back to haunt me, but in a very pleasing, positive way. It didn't upset <laughs> you. It didn't upset you to go into the theater to hear Ava Gardner sing, and that was your voice. And Not at all. Credit. It didn't even occur to me to be upset. It was just something I did. Ah, but you know, Lucille and Ball. It was fun. Tell me about Lucille Ball working with that great lady. Well, she was a wonderful lady. She was the most ingenuous person, very real, completely unpretentious, uh -huh. wonderful sense of humor on and off the screen. Uh -huh. you know, what, st what studio was this fancy pants? Paramount. Paramount? Yeah. I did several pictures for really? her. With her? Uh huh. Uh, uh -huh. Let me see. Was it Pale Face? Pale and Face. Bob Hope. Yeah. Fancy Pants and Sorrowful Jones. I think there was another one, but I forget. Uh -huh. How many ladies <laughs> have you done? Just, uh, Ava? I did Ava Gardner and Lucille Ball and another gal whose name I can't remember. You know, that's what happens you did after the a voices. lot of time. I also did a, a thing that was a lot of fun. I, when UPA cartoons were very big, like right. Hanna-Barbera, right, right. I did all the voices in Frankie and Johnny. Did you really? Yeah, I think they won a prize with that. Oh, congratulations, yeah. darling. <laughs> I, like to see, I like to see fancy pants right now. When you see a ball, you're doing the, uh, the film, a number in this film. Yes. What is it called? Fancy pants. Fancy pants. I like to see it right now. Those uh, Paramount Studios, those days, used to be there at what time in the morning to look at that film and sing along with that film? I don't remember that part of it. I, I remember Ray Evans and Jay Livingston wrote the songs. Right. And uh, that's really, uh, I don't remember that I was there at any particular time. Looking at the film, was it kind of catchy, I mean, to do, uh, to sing over that? Is it difficult? No, see, I made the record first. You made the record. And then Lucille dubbed. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah, that's usually the way it happens. Oh, I see. Yeah. You do the record. Yes. And then she mounts yes. it like a mime. Yeah. Same as, yes, oh, exactly. I see, I yeah. see. I thought you would go in yeah. the studio. Now, I had a, a little different situation with Ava Gardner because they got a wonderful screening of her. Right. Right. on my bill and uh I had to have earphones put on me, and the orchestra played in my ears. Right. And I had to look at her mouthing on the screen and then sing to what she was doing visually. That was a little more tricky, because uh -huh. you know, that's usually not the way it's done. Ava Gardner. Yes. What a great lady. What a oh, great yes. beauty of Hollywood. She was one of the most beautiful women in the whole world. Yeah. Was she nice? She was very nice, and, and she had her little foibles, you know, she kept saying, my legs are too short for my body. Uh -huh. I thought uh -huh. that was so funny, this magnificent uh -huh. creature. The song you did in MGM lavish music. Oh, Showboat. It was a classic oh. of its time. Oh, yes. it's great. Every time you hear yourself, when you go to the theater, mm -hmm. how do you feel? 
seeing I don't. Ava Gardner singing your your voice. I mean, you're doing your voice. How do you feel sitting there on this big screen, this beautiful lady, and your voice is coming out of this beautiful lady? Come on. I don't think I feel anything. You I don't? mean, I d no. Really? I'm listening for if I, listening to see if I could have done something a little better vocally. Uh -huh. You know, I, I listen with those kind of ears naturally. Right. Uh -huh. But uh, I don't. I'd like to I, see a clip of that though. Right? I'd like to see a clip of Ava Gardner doing uh, the man I love. Is it? Or uh, is it? Can't help loving that man and my Bill. Okay, I sang. Bill. I don't know which clip. Bill, you have. Bill, Bill, Bill. My favorite song from <laughs> uh, Showboat. Gorgeous. That's so beautiful. The one thing I do notice is that this is 40 years later. My voice is 40 years older, and and when I listen to this young thing, uh -huh. I bet your voice still <laughs> is there, isn't it? Yes, it is. You keep As that. a matter of fact, it is. It is. Yes, yeah, my voice is better than it's ever been. Ah, but the lady next to you, Joanne <laughs> Greer. Joanne Greer. <laughs> yep. God, 35 years with less. Brown yep. in his renowned yeah. band. Yes. Come on. <laughs> a lot of fun. Vocalist with Les Brown. <laughs> well, not only that, we've gone to so many countries, and that's. Uh, You've been all over the world. Yeah. But, but I did see you guys in Germany, I think, at the bases. Oh. I did. I was used to entertain the troops in, in Wiesbaden and all of Oh, I love Germany, Wiesbaden. And you guys were there. I yeah. remember seeing, I yeah. seeing you. Now I remember. And you were just great. Tell me about Rita Hayworth. You're oh. the lady who sang these songs with Rita. She was wonderful. She, of all the people that I, she and Esther Williams were the ones I liked the most. Esther because, Williams too? Yes. But uh, I just did her last picture. Uh -huh. But uh, Rita was very shy. And I knew her brother before that because he had the concession of, of parking the cars at the Palladium and we worked at the Palladium all the time. Right, right. So because I knew Eddie first, right. uh, I, it gave me something to talk to her about because she's extremely shy. Uh -huh. Very, very shy. And she really didn't have a real happy life uh -huh. Where are you growing from originally? up. Where are you from originally? Well, I was born in Atlantic City, but I've been in California since I was two. Two. So you so grew up So I don't here. really, yes. How did you get into show business, you girls? How, both of you, I'd like to know. How did you get into show business first? Um, David Street heard me singing. And uh, I was just working with friends of mine, just having fun. Right. And he started teaching me microphone technique. Mm -hmm. And he said, I think you're going to do very well. And he taught me a great deal of the things that he learned at Metro. Right. Which was great for me because uh, uh -huh. it, it, was, it just was very easy to take on, you know. Who was your first lady? That I, you mean you that said, I dubbed? Yeah, you? dubbed. Gosh, I don't Do you remember? remember? Because uh, you've done so many, I understand. Yes, I did some before Rita. Um, I can remember what they were, but I don't know exactly. June Allison, was it? No, that was the last one I did. That was just uh, the remake of the women where they played it on a record. Uh-huh. They did. Because yes. you could not sound like her now because her voice has changed. So she's, uh, right. she talks so much lower than she uh -huh, did then. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But um, I did a picture song? with uh, Frankie Lane first, with oh. a girl that I don't... She was an ingenue, and I don't think she ever did more than that, but uh -huh. uh, she was supposed to be a girl singing at the studios, uh -huh. and so I was dubbing for her, and that was the first one I did. Gloria Grant. No, Gloria Graham. Gloria, Gale, who is the one I'm thinking of? It's, uh, yeah, wasn't it Gloria Graham? Weren't you with, did you do Gloria Graham? I may have. I don't you remember did. now, I think. 
Yes, I, I don't think even you remember. did. Yes, you did. You did a movie <laughs> with her. I remember. Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, That's okay. And June Allison, tell me, what song was that? Well, now, with the June Allison, I didn't really work with her. This was the last picture that she made, and right. it's on a record it's in the movie. It's on a record thing, yes. Right. Because when I went over there, I told the director, I said, I can't sound like her. She yes, talk yes. like this, you know. Yeah. And I said, I can't sing for her. They said, don't worry. It's just going to be on a record. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know? So that was uh, very easy. Read Hayworth. The song. She was wonderful. Trinidad, was it? A Fair in Trinidad, Trinidad was the first one. Right. Uh -huh. And she was wonderful. She was extremely shy. Uh -huh. And uh, was she really shy? Oh, very, very shy, and a very warm person. Uh -huh. She did not act like a movie star, uh -huh. like you would imagine movie right. stars would act. Right. And uh, the second picture I made with her was a little, quite a while mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. She walked all the way across the stage to come over to me. She was just a very warm. Uh -huh. person that was very shy, but boy, when we started doing these uh -huh. movies together, we all knew each other then, uh -huh. you know, and it was Tell me, how do you feel nice. when you see yourself on the film? I mean, your, your voice is coming out of this... Well, when lady. she's dancing, great, because I can't dance. Sid Charisse. So, I mean... Uh, go, well, I didn't do Sid know. Charisse. Yeah. The lady next to you did yes, Sid Charisse. Yes, she certainly oh, did. Oh, India Adams. Come on, India. Hello. India <laughs> Adams, one of my favorite ladies. Sid Charisse, you did, I'm telling you. Yes. <laughs> I love her, too, darling. How are you doing? I'm India just Adams. doing great. I'm, I'm listening to these two, and I'm thinking, wow, they're oh, wonderful. Oh, look at this. I have three beautiful ladies who did, and you did Joan Crawford in Torch Song? Yes. Tell me about Joan Crawford. Oh, I loved her. She was really, she was quite an incredible person. Uh -huh. I was very young, and I was very starry-eyed, and I, I just thought she was great. Where are you from, India? Well, I actually grew up here. Uh-huh. I lived in England, though, for over 16 years. Ah, so is that where you got your break in singing? No, no, I started here. You came here? In yes, uh -huh. I started here. Uh -huh. um, what was your first lady? Um, Sing. Sid Charisse. Sid Charisse was mm -hmm. your first. And yes. Bandwagon, was it? The Bandwagon. Oh, what a great, that's entertainment. That's you. Yes, but so, so is New Sun in the Sky. Yeah. What great songs. What a voice. Oh, yes. Well, we're talking uh, Dietz and Schwartz as composers. And Torch Song. Yes. Oh, Joan Crawford. What a great lady. Tell me about your songs you did in these movies. How many songs did you girls do? How many songs oh, did you do? Oh, I did a number of them for Rita. Really? I must have done seven or so. Any there. Sadie Thompson. Different. I did Sadie Thompson. I did three movies that she did. What songs? Some, uh, I, I don't know if we have I've the... been kissed before. And, uh, Kiss? Oh, really? The Blue Pacific Blues, which is the pretty one. Uh-huh. And she was marvelous. She was such a nice person. After this first time that I worked with her, she went, walked all the way across the stage, a right. huge stage, to come over and talk to me. She was very, very nice, extremely shy, but she was a very warm person. And she didn't act like a movie star. She didn't? No, she was lovely. Ava Gardner was sweet, too, and Lucille very Ball. Nice. They didn't act like movie stars, Not did they? All. Not a bit. Hollywood was great those days, girls, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. It must yeah. have been fun. Yeah. It was a different it was. world, that's so yes. It was a different oh, world. Yes, yes. yes. really. Girls, uh, did you meet each other before? Did you know each other? No, we, I knew Never. of both of them. Yeah. Okay. Alan but Eichler, yes. who is uh, a manager and publicist and so forth, right. and has wonderful ideas and specializes in rejuvenating Re careers. Right, That's exactly. Special. Is that how he put you saw girls me together? One night at the, yes, he saw yeah, me yeah. one night at uh, just, I went to hear someone at the Vine Street Grill, and he said, I have an idea for you and Indy Adams and Joan Greer, and then I never heard of, uh, about it. And uh -huh. then after a while, the whole thing converged and came together and he put us together and now we're doing this act you're doing an act yes. right now and a it's, whole act three girls called the voices the just voices voices. Just just voices. voices i love it isn't that fun and alan eichler did this <laughs> yes he uh, did. oh he's yes, got he a great did. mind he had john a mcdaniel is our musical director uh -huh. and david, david gilligan Galligan. who is galligan is uh, uh -huh. the uh, Director of us. I can't believe and, uh, it. It's uh, wonderful. It's, it, we all are having so much fun together. We, yeah. uh, we the really do. Overnight sensation. You sir. Yes, <laughs> are. <In the> <laughs> of show you girls are. Oh, I'm going. the oldest, are so you? they have to do what I say. I'm the. Uh oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you remind me of that Vickers girl. An another blonde. <laughs> another blonde. Yeah. Right. Well, there's nothing wrong with blondes, surely. Oh, <laughs> well, mine's natural. <laughs> oh. Oh, here. Oh, good. we won't get into now, that. Now, voices. Then. Come on, voices. Let me tell you. You're opening at the Roosevelt Hotel. That's right, the Senegrill. The Senegrill. Oh, how exciting. And you're going to travel around with this all over the Hopefully. country? Hopefully. Evidently, that's, a, that's what he has planned. We're waiting eventually. for offers to what pour in. What an idea. <laughs> this has never been on. Well, we're great. going to be reviewed, and I think maybe something will depend on that. I don't really know. Because nobody is, out there really yeah. knows that Rita Hayward did, didn't yeah. do the singing. 
Yeah. And that said Charisse didn't do the same. Yeah, you know, the amount of interest that's been shown right. with it is, this is really yeah. quite exciting. Yeah. Oh, but you, you have to understand that, that uh, girls that danced and did a tremendous amount of it, they were working on that all the time. Right. That's why they didn't learn to sing. Sing. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 35 years with. Oh, Isn't that unbelievable? Oh, come on. oh, it's wonderful. Darling, tell me I've about. been all over the world. We're going back to Japan in December again. Uh -huh. Isn't that and, neat? Uh, yeah, you speak Japanese. Konbawa, konnichiwa, and all that. I know, I can't say anything. <laughs> but. but working with Les Brown, what kind of guy is Les oh, Brown? Oh, he's great. Is he, is he yeah. the guys he's in the, the band? He's the nicest person in the world to work with. Oh, yeah, I know them all. I've had, well, I'm not doing it anymore, but I have so many showers for everybody in the band. <laughs> a band singer, hey, you know. a band. You're yeah. a band singer, really a yeah. band singer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been singing all my life just around the house and everywhere. My mother used to sing to me when I was little. Uh huh. And what is a band singer really like? What is it? I, oh, it's fun. It's is it great really? fun. Yeah. To travel around one nighters, sleeping we, in buses. And well, all that. we didn't do too many one nighters. We'd go two or three days here or something, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, but I got to see a lot of the world uh -huh. and a lot of the United States. Uh -huh. And it's fun. Annette, first of all, I want to I want to see your clip. I want to see a clip that you did. Oh, uh, well, I don't know what it is, uh, but I would like someone to help me out there in the studio. Let's show. Oh, I don't that know what clip. it is either. Doing? We're going to see. We're going to find out. I don't know. I think uh, it's no. It's Rita, Rita Hayworth or Rita Rita Rita. Either it has one. To be Rita. Let's see. Yeah. It's Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth. Let's see. Is it the Rita song? Yeah, here it is. No, it's Rita Hayworth. Yeah. Perfect. She was cold and rather drab. So at all the local parties, she was not the one they'd grab. But she read a book, then came the transformation. She announced one night to people's consternation. The heat is on, the heat is on. You better not get near my lips tonight. I've got a kiss like a flame. And if you touch my lips, you might ignite, and you would have yourself to blame. The heat is on, the heat is on. I want to know if men are men or mice to want to wither on the bow. I might have formerly been cold as ice, but I'm a force. Incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. She was so shy. She was. Very shy. And but when good... she got up to dance, uh -huh. she was just wonderful. Really? Really wonderful, yeah. Those days at, at Columbia, when she was yeah. at Columbia, God, did you meet Colin? Did you meet him? Uh, I met him, but I can't, she said to me, keep your mouth shut. Don't say a word when he comes in. Just sit there. Really? <laughs> because I, I was scared to death of him. Were you? Everyone in Hollywood. Everyone was. She Why? was. She was. She, she, Rita Hayward was She scared. would sit like this, you know, when he would come in, and, and she was very nice when he'd talk to her and everything, but uh -huh. evidently it was very difficult to work with, and she uh -huh. was very shy. Did she ever say anything to you? Intimately, about, about what? Anything Intimate, in intimately. life, intimate between, t uh, she come up to you at all and talk Oh, we to you? talked a lot, yes, did. yes, we did talk a lot. Was she she was extremely Was shy. she very spiritual? Would you say? That I don't know, I don't know. She was, she was so thrilled with her younger daughter. Uh -huh. She just loved her younger, and of course you know that the daughter took care of her. Right. After, when after she was, got ill. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. she, she took care of her the whole time. Mm -hmm. And they were very, very close. What were you doing in England all that time? What were you living I was, there? I was, oh yes, I, I was working. I did hundreds of shows for the BBC. I did shows on the continent. Uh-huh. Um, singing? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. You, so you keep singing all the time? You bet. All three, <laughs> all three of you girls just kept on yeah. singing all these years. Mm -hmm. It's so when, easy. You know, that, that I was just going to say, when you've got it in you, you just do it. What would you advise these young girls today? I mean, uh, you, you're listening to some voices out there. I mean, I'm listening to voices here. Yeah. What do you think about how, what's the entertainment like today? Girls? I'm awfully glad I'm not in that, am, in that ball game. Am I right? Yeah. What yeah. do you think, my darling? Well, you don't hear too many of them today that really, I don't see that they I mean, they you've been around. So you've much. been around, yes. darling. You, yeah. you know, you're, you girls have been around. Yeah. But you, you have said. to have the, the emotion, too. And I don't <laughs> think a lot of them that I've seen younger girls don't have that emotion. They're just out there waiting for people to... They want to be stars yes, overnight. Yes, you don't. It just doesn't happen that way. It's it not takes... beautiful, it's loud. <laughs> yeah, oh, that that's, goes on too. That's lovely. I like that. Yeah. It's but loud. But there are some very talented yes, people of course out there. there yes, are. there are talented. So what would you advise the young girls out there? I know what advice I'd give. Would you? Tell me. I like to hear this. Don't do it. Study music. <laughs> right. Learn to sight read. 
sight read. Okay. Study your instrument so that you are a craftsman, not just a dumb-headed singer who's uh -huh. out there, okay? Uh -huh. So that you know what you're doing. Very often, I, the difference between getting the job and not getting the job uh -huh. is to be able to sight read. I see. Yeah, that, that was my experience. I could very often get a job because I could pick up the music and read it because I'm a trained pianist. But yes. <clears throat> I think studying voice, I don't have any respect for people who say, I never uh -huh. took a lesson in my life. I see. Uh oh, I, I mean, that's agree. kind of insulting, you know, to the <laughs> instrument or to the art, the great yeah. art of singing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember your very first singing job? Look back over your career. Do you remember that? Well, I was going with a fellow that worked in a club on Sunset Boulevard, and I used to go up there and sing. Really? But I wasn't being paid for it. I just would sing in this club all the time. What was the club? Do you remember? Do you have I don't remember the name of it. Because I grew no. up here in Hollywood. It was on Sunset Boulevard, okay. and Harry Wham had the band. Okay, I don't, I don't know if you would know him. <laughs> How about you? I remember my Your first, first, first singing job very, very well. There was a boy that I was going to school with who was a musician. Uh huh. And he was playing in a little club at Five Points in El Monte. Right. And I remember the name of it. It was called the Golden <laughs> Lee Cafe. Ah! And he I love played it. there with a trio, I think it was, uh -huh. uh, Thursday through Sunday. Right. And he asked me, you know, he said if I came with him one night, he'd let me get up and sing. Uh -huh. And I did that, and the boss came up and he said that he would hire me for Friday and Saturday nights at $5 a night. Uh -huh. And I asked him if I didn't charge him any extra, would he let me work Thursday and Sunday uh -huh. too? Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. That's I worked. Thursday through, I was there for a number of oh, months. Oh, that's great, that's great. And he used to keep watermelon in the fridge for me because I liked it. Ah. <laughs> you still like watermelon, right? I still like watermelon. How about you, my darling? Do you well, remember your very Yes, first I really do, and it's, it's kind of funny because, uh, as I said, I was a, really a pianist, and one night when I was very young, my mother took me to a little nightclub in Cleveland, Ohio called the Skyway Lounge, uh -huh. and there was a gal there who sang risque songs. And she was complaining that her pianist had walked out on her, and I had a ribbon in my hair and ankle socks. Right. And the young boy who was with my mother and me said, she can play the piano. Uh -huh. So uh, she said, well, come up and play. And I played Claire de Lune for this little nightclub audience. Oh, great. They hired me, and I went to the store and bought a lot of popular music because uh -huh. it was a nightclub. Right. And I would sit there and rip off one piece after the other with a Nova chord and one right, hand right. and that old thing. And then <clears throat> the gal named Dorothy Taylor said to me, uh, if you can sing a couple songs, put you in the show. Uh -huh. So I learned Summertime and My Man. And every night I got up and said, I have a request. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And the funny part of it was I accompanied her, and uh -huh. she sang really dirty songs. I uh -huh. hadn't a clue. Frances Faye? She was in, her name was Dorothy Taylor. She was in oh, Vaudeville. Yeah, okay. She was a wonderful That's lady. Bad. Girls, was, do you regret any of your lives, your careers, that you were dubbed the voice, I mean, no, voice? No, you don't have no regrets? You girls oh, no. have no regrets? Not it was a great all. experience. It was a great Not experience. And, you know, I really no. wanted Because you, you didn't get credit, no recognition. No, but we had don't. fun, and, and yeah. I and Is that I the way you look at that? So oh, yeah. And you were asking, you know, what did you think when you watched yourself, right. yeah. watched somebody right. like that in your voice? It's the most fun, even now, I get a big kick out of it. But your friends knew it was you. Oh, yes. Your friends, all oh, your yes. friends knew it was you. Yeah. Oh, yes. But the world didn't know. But the well, world no, didn't But then a lot of things know. were published. People yeah. in the news around Hollywood. They, would, in Hollywood. They would find out, and they would put it in. Put it a lot in. of people they in the loved trades. Yeah, the yeah. trades. They but not the, the people trades. in Omaha, no. Nebraska. No, that's, that's what I mean. But the trades loved, or even, or any yeah. columnist. Yeah. I like dropping see, it if they know it. Of course. I like to see the other clip of Joan Crawford. I think this is Joan Crawford's clip. Let's see it. Okay. You three lovely ladies. I don't know why they scold me for doing what I'm trying not to do. No man can ever hold me, and yet I never mean to be untrue. Someday I will wake up, find out what is wrong with my dual 
up being a two-faced oh, India. <laughs> India Adams. Yes. Joan Crawford. God, how do you feel about that? Joan Crawford. Well, come on. It's like, you know, she was a legend, and I was Did there, you ever meet her daughter, fun. Christina? N no. Yeah, no. you should meet her. She's a nice lady, very sweet. Is she? You girls, I can't uh, believe I'm sitting here with three, the most fabulous ladies in show business <laughs> of Hollywood. Unknown, unknown <laughs> talent, but lunch. not really unknown because <laughs> your girls' voices have been heard throughout the world. That's true. Throughout yes. the world. Yeah. And Les Brown, band renowned sitting over there. Come <laughs> on, I love this lady too. Oh, that's a lot of fun. That, it is a lot of fun, isn't it? Uh -huh. It is, it really is. He's wonderful to work with. So you girls have no regrets no, at all? No, no. Looking back over your lives, you have nothing. Would you do it the same way? Come on. No, I, I would not. You I would not? not do it the same what would you way? do? Um, I would have been more self protective. I had one of those, several of those classic stories of being on the brink of having something wonderful happen and have someone who is in, a, in the very high echelon say, unless you become my yes. paramour. I will see that you never get anywhere, and so really? that was oh. a big. Yeah, I had several tremendous things that I was just starting on, really? and that like the president of the advertising uh -huh. agency just before I went on right. told me that he would kill my career if I didn't become his lady love, and so really? I said, well, I'm really not interested in being so Hollywood. This was in Hollywood. So I had several of those things happen to me. Yeah, uh -huh. but I would have been more assertive about it. I would have told someone that it was happening yes. to me. I would have been more aggressive just as yes. um, I, I, but I was Those so, days the casting was couch so, was around. It was. I was, was it? so green, you know. There and, was. Uh, but I you probably never sad. saw it. Did you see it around I Holly's? Uh, I much. Uh, uh, no, a couple of people uh, uh, said tough. things to me, but I was so dumb and so uh, naive uh -huh. anyway. I just go, oh, oh uh -huh. you know. And they left you, left you alone. Yeah. Would you do it the same way? I would imagine, yes. I'm looking at you. I think you would. Yeah. I think you would, yeah. But I love the dubbing. I love doing you that. Do I can't love dubbing. Yeah. Rita used to laugh at me because I cannot dance and I'd have to walk around sometimes to get the, uh -huh. the mood that she's yeah. doing and she'd be. <laughs> so you, so so you, you enjoyed do, your voice coming out of Sid Charisse's you know, body, but, huh? But Rita, I really loved working with her. She was wonderful. Was that your favorite? Yeah, because she was she was very shy, and when you got to know her, uh -huh. she was extremely warm, and she didn't act like a movie I star. See, I see. You know, she was just wonderful. Tell me about you. What? Do you have? Would you do it the same way, or do you have any regrets at all, or anything? I don't would have you do it any, the same way. I'd have done something, something different, so that I'd have been a really big star. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd have been smart uh -huh. enough to find somebody who'd really uh -huh. knew what to do with me. Right. You right. know, I had a lot of opportunities and I've done a lot. I mean, a lot of people think, you know, that's yeah. really a great career. And I loved my career. You three girls are just incredible, <laughs> I must tell you. And we all like They're, each other. You like each oh, other. Oh, yeah. Very much. Yes. We, we have a lifetime friendship for yeah. them. That's great, yes, girls. And really you're going to be opening at the Roosevelt Hotel? August yes. 27th. August 27th. I can't believe August 27th. August 27th. <laughs> you girls are going to be there. Yeah. And, and it's going to be jam-packed with loads of celebrities. See these oh, boys. Good. Oh, good. Oh, so. That they haven't, oh, God, you, I, I'm so proud of you three girls. I'm very honored and thank Alan Eichler for me. You're adorable. <laughs>
Do you know, Judy Davis just did the life story of uh, Judy Garland, and uh, Luff wrote it, and she was just great. Wasn't right? she? Yes, I Judy Davis. It's, it's, Emmy, it's an Emmy award-winning performance. It's going to win. Sally Kirkland. I'm sitting here thinking, forgiveness. We are always, we're always doing something about saying, forgive me, I love you. Do people really mean those words when they say that? They say it, they throw those words around like it's, you know, they always say, I love you, I love you, or I forgive, forgive me, forgive me. Don't say things unless you really mean it. Oh. Tell me about those words, because you, you go with John Rogers. John Rogers wrote well, several John Rogers has written several books, one on forgiveness. Um, and yeah, on forgiveness. I've been, uh, I've been uh, attending his seminars and, and happy to say uh, being his friend uh, for you know, 28, 29 years. Right. Um, the, one of the reasons why I wanted to be with you today uh, is to talk about um, a book he wrote, which you're holding, which I'm holding, Forgiveness, the Key to the Kingdom. Right. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be um, participating in a workshop on that uh, April 8th at the Peace Theological Seminary. Uh -huh. And um, I think it's a word that... What is the true meaning of that word, forgiveness? What is, the, what is that true meaning of that? Well, forgiving. Yeah. Forgiving. Yeah. Uh, to me, it means... Um, what are you saying? You say forgiven, but what do you really mean by saying forgiven? I mean, there's got to be a word. Um, well, like I said, if you divided forgive into two words, right. it would be for giving yeah. to you. you. Um, I am for giving to oneself. Uh -huh. um, and may, maybe uh, let's forget things that have happened up until now and forgive it and forget it and be in the loving. Um, if I open to any page in this book, you know, one of the it's things... It's difficult to, for some people to do, forgive yeah. and to love and all that. Some people just can't do it, Sally. Well, um... What do we do about it? Well, one thing I do is I read this book a lot. Right. For forgiveness, the Key to the Kingdom. And, um, I open to a different page every so many days and see what it has for me. Uh-huh. And I was sitting out there in the green room waiting, you know, for the Come show, in. and I just kind of like opened, uh -huh. and two pages uh, appealed to me, and this one is one. Open your heart to spirit and to all of the hurt that you've experienced, and just say inside yourself, I forgive myself for the mismanagements, the misjudgments, the misinformations, or whatever else has been happening that has made me feel hurtful, resentful, contracted, pulled away. I'm going to keep extending the loving again, and I'm going to keep expanding that until one day it stays extended all by itself. At that point, you're really going to be happy that you love through the hurts and the discouragements and the despair and the crises, because you'll find out that it's really worth it. That's on page 141. Uh -huh. um, and there was another one I liked, uh, seek first the kingdom of heaven. And where on earth is that? Inside. Where inside? In its natural place of divinity. Uh -huh. The kingdom of heaven is found in the place of your compassion, is found in the place of your loving, is found in the place of your generosity, is found in the place of your healing of yourself and others. It's very easy to find the kingdom of heaven inside. When we stop using the intellect of the mind and come right. to the wisdom of the heart, we access the door to divinity because out of that heart comes the compassion and forgiveness. When did you discover John Rogers? When did um, you... I came out, um, Robert Redford got me a part in The Sting. Uh -huh. um, I played his stripper girlfriend, uh -huh. Crystal Field, her name was. Uh -huh. Do you remember when Robert Redford in The Sting goes to the uh, burlesque house and he's got roses and a bottle of champagne. Right, of course, I remember and that And I'm scene. on stage dancing uh -huh. with, you remember Edith Head yes, and her incredible yeah. costumes with an Edith Head tassels and G-string or whatnot. Right. And, um, and he's in the, in the curtains off stage and, and he's giggling and laughing and holding uh -huh. up the flowers. And then he takes me out and he blows all of his money on the, on the um, poker table. Right. 
And uh, I don't remember all my lines, but I remember this one line where I throw the champagne bottle on Robert Redford's stomach and I say, next time you want to spend 50 bucks on me, hook or mail it, you know? <laughs> and uh, so that was the beginning of my illustrious L.A. Her. career, along with the way we were with uh -huh. Barbara Streisand. Yeah, but and, you uh, did theater in New York, though. Oh, yeah, no, did, and I yeah, did films in New did, York. Yeah. But what I mean is I came out here yeah. in L.A. in 72 and simultaneously did the staying the way we were and met John Roger. Wow. And um, That's I That's where it just, all began. I just think he's just been um, my best friend, you know, uh -huh. and uh, an extraordinary way shower. And, mm -hmm. uh, Does it really help your career, though, Sally, in your work as an uh, actress? Well, I think when you're in this business, because there's no studio system anymore, per se, it's all sort of revy yourself up yourself, you know, reinvent yourself, um, mm -hmm. go gig to gig without knowing the future. Um, and there can be a lot of rejections, as you know. Right. Um, I think it's very grounding to have a place to go where everybody is there for the same reason, and that's the loving right. and, uh, and the sharing of the abundance of, of the heart. Um, and uh, not that that isn't so in the industry, because I'm, I have the most extraordinary friends in the industry. I just think that the industry can be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, but they and, do share. They do help people. They yeah, do out there yeah. help the homeless. Yeah. They're very compassionate people. Yeah, I know at, at, uh, at SAG we have some kind of a, a fund that has helped many actors, particularly in this past year. Right. And uh, the Actors Fund of America has helped many actors who are not been, working. Do you, you know, know or, the Screen Actors who, Guild, uh, there are many members on the Screen Actors Guild and mm -hmm. have, what, 10% work and 90% uh, yeah. don't, right? Yeah, you got to kind of hang in. You right? got to hang uh, in, right, exactly. But, um, uh, but you keep busy, Sally. You well, just, I'm, I'm fortunate, aren't I? I yeah, uh, yeah. I just finished, um, actually, I'm not finished. I go back to work around the 29th of March, the 30th. Um, a film called The Chocolate Fairy about three generations of women. Right. And Sherry Hellard, a, a wonderful woman, is directing it and playing my daughter simultaneously. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And um, Tom uh, Bosley plays um, uh, a dear friend who is a boy of mine. Uh -huh. And uh, Alice Ghostly plays. Wonderful actors. Uh, wonderful plays. Yes, Sherry's character actors, uh, great. Doctor. She finds out that she has uh, been diagnosed with cancer, and, and the film is sort of a bittersweet story about uh -huh. uh, a mother-daughter relationship, um, hers and mine and her daughter, and how we all react to that diagnosis. Uh -huh. And um, uh, I had a wonderful uh, friend, Diane Sperling, who was um, sort of our advisor on the film. Um, she mm. passed over from cancer. Um, about a month ago, beautiful woman, 52, and uh, it really brought it home to me that I was working on this film right. about cancer, and my girlfriend was going to God, having um, just uh, so beautifully and with such dignity and with such. So you, so you're using um, this in your film right now. This, it was this. quite an inspiration to me uh, when I got to the emotional scenes. scenes. To, uh, yeah, that's is that the method acting of uh, Strasbourg? Oh, I think it's just good acting. Good don't you? I mean, Strasbourg acting? says be truthful, but uh -huh. uh, um, Diane, I would go to Cedar Sinai and and visit her a lot, and I used to think that I was you know ministering to her, but it was right. really she who was ministering to me. Her 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 dignity, her extraordinary grace, uh -huh. you know, as she was dealing with this uh, for about a year or more, but in, this, in the last months, and um, every time I would come in her hospital room, uh, I would feel uh, the Christ, you know, uh -huh. and um, it was quite an honor. I, I think the more we can assist the dying, the, the more joy we get, uh -huh. um, because I think what I found is that what would really be sad on this planet would be if anybody uh, passed over without a friend or someone to hold or to mm -hmm. look at and to mm -hmm. hug. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, a large part of what the movement of spiritual inner awareness, which I'm a member of, right. we have something called heartfelt service and heartfelt service projects. And, and we go around to hospitals and hospices and oh, isn't that old great? age homes and, uh -huh. and, and we try and assist people who are um, in need, and in this and case, it makes you feel better too, doesn't it? Really it really does, because uh -huh. uh, to me, um, 
con the consciousness of service is the highest consciousness we can uh, have on the planet. Uh -huh. okay. And um, when I've been most happy in my life has, has been when I've had the opportunity to serve somebody. Um, there was a young man who was uh, dying of AIDS, uh, Rick Sherald, uh, a few years back, and, and I had the opportunity to uh, give him my house and become his caretaker and his, um, you know, right. provider. And um, I got very familiar with the training that has been offered a lot of people of assisting the dying and went over to the Carl S. Bean Hospice on Adams Boulevard, which is mm -hmm. very close to the movement of spiritual and awareness. And we had an opportunity to uh, not only assist Rick, but all of the patients there. And it was such uh -huh. an extraordinary feeling to, to be able to reach out and help someone who is in that process of passing over. A lot of actors are doing this right now. There you are. Yeah. The actors. I hope so. I yeah. hope everybody's you seem doing very, it. You seem today, mm -hmm. I know you walked in very little late, but you seem very tranquil today, oh, Sally. Well, thank you. Not honey. so, you know. No. Uh, is it because, uh, because where you just came from? Is that it, you think? Um, well, uh, I. Another friend of mine, Gio, yeah. uh, passed over at three this morning. Right, that's and what I see. I, I see it. I had been thinking about him being in heaven with uh -huh. God. And, um, he had a brain tumor, and uh -huh. um, and he again demonstrated with such beauty and dignity uh, how one can do that. To do that, uh, yes, to pass know, on. Just so peacefully, so. His beautiful wife, Terry, just by his side always and uh -huh. inviting people to come and pay last respects. And, mm -hmm. um, it's been an interesting time. Rogers um, has taught I mean, Sally Kirkland, the actress. Yeah. You know, let's face it, you, she, you are a complete different human being than you were 10 years ago. Really? Yeah, oh. I feel that, yeah, I really do. Well, and, but you're a great actress. Don't take me wrong. Yeah. You won an award. You're a Cabinet Award winner for Anna. Yeah. You got an award. Nominee Golden Nominee Globe winner. Nominee Golden <laughs> winner. That's right. But Sally, you've changed a lot. Your oh. your time is not even yet there. Really. <laughs> well, I feel your time. Because you're doing a lot of roles. Yeah. There's two more after this one. Um, working with uh, Joe Beth Williams on, in the Rose Technique. Uh huh. And I play her psychiatrist, and she's um, a radio uh, jock. Uh -huh. And um, and then uh, let's see. How about sex Month scenes? Of Sundays Does with it Rod sex Steyer? scenes disturb you in movies when you have to do uh, disrobing yourself on a on a film when you have to? Well, do I haven't had to do that for a while, Skippy. You haven't, huh? No, uh, but you know, it had its moment in my life, and I, it, I, I, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't bother, bother me. You. No. Uh, no. But it's sort of fun growing into the roles where that's not expected of me. <laughs> right, right. Are there good roles out there for women actresses there like There could yourself? be a lot more. Um, I've, I've offered some volunteer offer, uh, hours for the uh, Women's Committee over at Screen Actors Guild to try and see if we can create more opportunities right, for right. women. Um, can I read you of from you a brand new book that came out? Maybe the camera can come in. Loving Each Day. Loving Each Day. That's John, John Rogers. Roger. Oh, that's and, great. And uh, I What's picked out about? a couple of pages. This is a sort of a tabletop book that, again, you can just open any page. When you come to the spiritual heart, you find yourself in the center of all beingness. At that point, you reside at the apex of time, and all things are delivered unto you. Uh -huh. Uh, the Holy Land is wherever divine love is being made manifest, wherever you demonstrate the consciousness of love, that land becomes sacred and holy. Uh -huh. That sounds nice. The light of the heart, the light of the soul, the light of the Christ, the light of God, these things are in all. I love that concept that Christ is in all. You know? Has it been difficult for you as an actor to get uh, work, Sally? Uh, Has it been well, difficult, would you say? Yes and no. I mean, you know, I, I guess I guess it's been said that I've had somewhat of a roller coaster. A roller coaster. Career. Some days. But I, up. I think that's true for women in the industry, unless yes. you're 24, 25. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that uh, it's it goes with the territory. You know, it's um, 
hopefully is changing. This project I just did is produced and written by a woman, uh -huh. Robin McKenzie, directed and acted in by a woman, Sherry uh -huh. Hillard, and with a all women cast and their men. So that's an example of taking the bulls by the horn and mm -hmm. women supporting women, you know. Um, I want to be sure that I mention um, a couple of <coughs> events because I know uh -huh. you always love to get me talking about acting and I forget the dates of the things that I came to talk about. But uh, my friend uh, <coughs> John, John Morton, Morton. Mm -hmm. um, who you know, who wrote The Blessings Already Are. Great, great book. Um, is giving a, a seminar that's open to the public uh, the 20th of March. Uh -huh. And if you call 323-737-4055, say it again, 323-737-4055, and say Sally Kirkland was talking about a seminar at the University of Santa Monica in Santa Monica, uh -huh. given by John Morton, and she'll be there. And, um, and he's just extraordinary. His book, talks about experiences he's had in his life, but it also has blessings, all mm -hmm. different kinds of blessings. Right. And um, anyway, uh, he's the most amazing example of someone who... He travels around the world, and, doesn't he? And meanwhile, he's a great father and has uh -huh. two wonderful children, and he manages to do it all. And to, he came back recently from, uh, let's see, last December, he was with uh, Nelson Mandela. Right. Um, in uh, Cape Town, South Africa, where all the different alternative religions of the world were congregating mm -hmm. to plant peace poles. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cape Town, South Africa was picked by everybody as the place that uh -huh. would have the common denominator of everyone's focus right now. And uh, also recently Nigeria. And he just travels, 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 uh, spreading blessings and loving and wonderful teachings of the movement of spiritual inner awareness. Mm -hmm. How come you don't write? You, 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 uh, you direct. Yeah, I'm You produced. have done directing. Um, you produced. Uh, tell me about writing now. Well, I... Are you I've writing been, a film right now? No, I've been writing uh, different chapters on a book I'm writing. On a book? Oh, okay. Which is just sort of recapping my spiritual journey and, uh, and my life, such uh -huh. as it the is. The odysseys of your life? The odysseys, right. Yes, uh-huh. Um, I read wonderful chapters of your Odyssey. Oh, my life, yes. And I found it's coming out in six weeks, my yeah, friend. That just, book of mine will be out in about six weeks. The boy Thank with the God Betty it Grable. Took a the boy with the Betty Grable. It's called the boy with the Betty Grable, Grable legs. legs. Don't let that scare you. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's the. Uh, it's a real showbiz life. Yeah. Growing up in the. But your book is going to be about yours too about yeah. Sally Kirkland's life, right? I hope I can remember everything the way you remembered everything. You have the most extraordinary memory. Well, you talk on the yeah. tape recorder. You look at your passport, <laughs> and you just look at it, and you look at the dates, and just go right from there, you know? Uh, I, I just... You seem busy. You seem kind of, you know, quiet today, but, you know... Is that okay that I'm loving, quiet today? Yeah, I think you're wonderful. You're a loving human being. <laughs> and you're directing, you work at the Actors uh, Studio. Lee I, I teach at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute. Tell me about teach that. Teach acting. Tell me about um, that. Most of my students are between, um, oh, 20 and uh -huh. 30. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of them come from all over the world, as well as here. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I've been working with them with scenes from David Mamet and uh, uh -huh. Terrence McNally and um, David Rabe and uh, Tennessee Williams and Sam Shepard. Did you ever meet Tennessee? James McClure. No, I didn't. Oh, he's I a great guy. I what a wonderful guy. Sam Shepard? Yeah, well, Sam Shepard's a good friend. Isn't he great? Yeah. Guy? Tell me about Sam Shepard. I just love him. Oh, he's him. just an extra. Yeah, I think he possesses some genius. Uh -huh. Speaking of genius, speaking of genius, um, I, uh, His I want to mention. Great actress. Yeah, I, I, you know, you made me think of it because Sam Shepard has a company called the Magic Theater in, in San Francisco, and Ed Harris got his start there, and he continues to go back there. And oh God, Ed Harris! Did you happen to see that performance Pollock. of Pollock, Jackson oh, Pollock? He's brilliant. Directed himself and uh, yeah. and starred in um, just an amazing movie. And he you, should get the you, award for this movie. Well, I, I hope he. I, I sure hope, yes, I mean, it's all of the performances are great this year, but he's the one that I know as a personal friend, and uh, 
I just think it's extraordinary how he did the painting on right. film, absolutely. and you feel like you absolutely uh -huh. understand how Jackson Pollock painted, and then you went through his torturous moments right, and his right, right. high moments and his um, wonderful marriage. How many years has he been? He's been in the business a long time. He's paid his dues. Ed I hate Harris. to use that word. Ed yeah. Harris. Ed Harris is his, a his wife. Um, I was her substitute teacher at the Lee Strasberg Institute in oh, the really? 80s, Amy Madigan, yeah. Uh -huh. And we, we uh, were in a play together in the Boom Boom Room uh -huh. uh, by David Ray. I want to also mention another genius um, that I love. Bob Dylan is up, uh, just won the Golden Globe, as you know. And yes, he was great. I just received in the mail his single... Um, uh, things have changed from the Wonder Boys, Michael uh -huh. Douglas's wonderful film. He doesn't like and, to appear. Oh. Well, but I think he's been he's, he's liking getting better more now. And more. Yeah. more and more now. And it seems. Uh, yeah. I I sure want him to win. Uh -huh. And he's such a, a a brilliant artist, and here he is entering into right the Hollywood scene more and more. Right. And uh, I want Elton John to take a break. No, and no, Elton I do. John should never take a break. <laughs> well, Elton you know, John I mean, is he's incredible. great. No, but you know, I want Dylan. He's an American Dylan guy. Dylan is extraordinary. He's incredible. Um, yeah. And uh, I had the opportunity once to do a play with his two daughters-in-law, uh -huh. um, Susan Trailer Dylan, and uh, Paige Dylan. You've known and Dylan a long time, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I met him in the 60s. And, really? Uh, you were very young in the 60s. Yeah. You must have been a young and, girl. Yeah. I were was you a, a big girl. fan of his in yes. the 60s? Is that it? He and Joan Baez were at Carnegie Hall, and I got to meet them both at so that time. So you were a hippie, though. Would you say I think I Sally still am. Kirkland? <laughs> you still are? <laughs> yeah. Sally, uh, Shelley Winters is a, big, uh, a hippie, a, a bohemian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shelley Winters is a bohemian. Sally Kirkland is a hippie. And what is the difference? And there's a lot of difference. A hippie was in the days of the 60s. A bohemian was in the days of the 40s. Really? And the, yeah, the mm -hmm. early 40s. And the bohemians were all uh, writers, poets, mm -hmm. readers, all that. And a hippie is the same thing, but it's a different. They smoked grass. They they did I psychedelic. Didn't smoke that much, well, they uh, oh, they did everything for, for a while. Psychedelic 60s, yeah. things. That was the hippie days. Yeah, thank God those days. So it's a over. difference. Every every generation. These young kids today, their generation now, there are mm -hmm. tattoos or yeah. color hair or the whatever. rings and or rings and all that pierce yeah. stuff. Well, I think expressing oneself is great. Expression himself. You is great. express yourself at the Cafe Roma on Monday nights. Yeah, I do. I work at Cafe Roma with, uh, I present singers and uh, singers and comics, but mostly singers, young mm -hmm. singers. I've been doing that for years. Before that, in the 70s, I was at the E Little Club down the street uh -huh. from Cafe Roma. On the, I wish you'd come in some Monday night. Well, I, when I, I was at the comedy uh, store, uh -huh. you hosted one night. That's right. You and I co-hosted the comedy store. Wonderful entertainers. In the big room. In yeah. the big room. That was a high, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that great. That was a total high. Yeah, it was great. Um, we had a big, big night there. So I have to do my little book pitch one more time. I, There's please. another book called Sex, Spirit, and You. Maybe I wanted the you to say that. That's John Rogers. Sex, Sex Spirit, and You. Spirit, and You. And again, it's in the bookstores, and or you can call 323-737-4055, or you can go into www www.mandevillepress.org or www.msia.org. Uh. And wow. the blessing, uh, loving each day, you can get one of these on your computer every day by going into www.lovingeachday.org. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And you can just fill in your name and say, I would like a loving thought each day. And you can get it. And, and you can get, get it for free, of course. Right. Free. And That's um, great. I mentioned the blessings already are, the Tao of great. Spirit. That's great. And spiritual warrior. The What's that about? Spiritual living. Spiritual warrior. The art of mm. spiritual living. Well, I'll read you one passage I marked. Webster's Dictionary defines abundance as qua uh, quantity, affluence, wealth. But in spiritual terms, abundance does not mean possession of objects. Rather, it means access to the essence of what all things are. It means being in communion with that essence inside of you. True abundance is this awareness of the whole, the satisfaction of all our needs, which are far fewer than we may think. That is abundance. Um, I think being what? a spiritual warrior, I think instead of having armor, uh -huh. uh, you have uh, your heart and truth, uh -huh. and those are your, that's your armor, the armor of the heart. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. What's the joy um, for Sally Kirkland for, uh, for acting-wise, for your acting? Uh, what the is joy? the joy? Um, yeah. Well, you know, it's always fun... Um, 
hearing great comments about your work. One of your wonderful cameramen used to watch me as Tracy on Days of Our Lives, mm -hmm. and he was talking to me before your show. And it's always great when somebody. Did you says, enjoy doing the soaps? Oh sure. Did you really? Because oh, yeah, it's you a know family. why? Because you're such a prominent, good actress, and then all of a sudden, Sally's doing soaps. But I was also doing films simultaneously, films too. But and I was did, doing a play. You didn't mind that. I, you know, in England they go through all three: daytime, nighttime, film, theater. That's four. Uh -huh. And over here, um, well, less and less nowadays. Right. But I think it's really great to do everything. But you're a good theater actress. That's where you really started, Sally. Oh, thank theater. you. I just finished to play six characters in *Search of an Author* at the Ivar Theater. Uh huh. That's in Hollywood. In Hollywood. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And. Uh, the cast, uh, we had Latino actors, we had um, a British actress, a Japanese actor, uh -huh. a Filipino actor. Um, we had all the cultures represented. It was uh -huh. really a miracle. Uh -huh. It was beautiful, beautiful. That's, that's what we want to see. We want to see all the races and cultures and religions coming together. Coming together. They are, though, right now. I it hope so. Seems, I think so. It I like seems to think like so. it. It really yeah. does. Look what happened last night on the uh, Screen Actors Guild Awards. Wasn't Ruby, Ruby D Goldberg and Ossie Davis? And came out and they were made incredible. her speech. They were incredible. And Ozzie Davis and Ruby, Ruby D. D. They said it all. That they was said it. it all. They walked out there and that was it for me. And they talked about peace. She was so great. They both were incredible. They're just incredible people. Yeah. Magical. I'm really just proud of uh, Screen Actors Guild for picking them. And I'm proud of Whoopi um, Goldberg coming wasn't she out incredible? there and just presenting these two people were due, due uh -huh. to be recognized like this. And, and uh, Benicio Del Toro bringing out the whole cast of traffic and saying, was, you know, this is the award, great. not me. I mean, so yeah. it's really all about... It was a great show last night. It was, night, it that was. That Screen Actors Guild. And but there are a lot of awards. Before that show went on, I said, oh, another award show, another award show. No, I thought it was but terrific. this was a good one. Yeah, yeah, really wonderful show last night. And all of the actors were terrific. And, yeah. Uh, it was touching Julia Roberts' uh -huh. and seeing my dear friend Everybody Ellen Everybody was Burstyn delightful. And everybody they was delightful. All. But the high point was to me this D and Ozzy. Ruby D and Ozzy Davis, they, they brought such dignity yes. to the acting profession. By, by And there they were with Martin Luther King and, and showing all their wonderful moments over the years. But they talked about peace. They talked yes. about Wasn't peace. Yes, wasn't she wonderful? Yeah. She oh, brought it right yeah. on that stage, like you're bringing this right now oh, to this right now to this table me. right now. You're saying I, I think you bring it every time you do a show. You bring peace out there. I think what is it? Four thousand interviews. You told me what yes, you did. Yes, I've done. I've done a lot. And, and <laughs> what you do is you you search for the good in everybody, and then and you if share you look, it with the and world. And if you look for some good in someone, you'll find it. Yeah. Just wait, and you'll find it. If you're going to look for bad in somebody, you're going to find the bad in them. Don't so look we'll for the look bad. So we'll just look for the good, right? Only look for the good. Yeah. Sally Kirkland, you're a delight. I really thank you so much for thank coming you, this Amy. afternoon. As usual, thank you. And I enjoyed Forgiveness to the Key to the Kingdom. I think it's a great, great book. Thank John you. Rogers, right? Maybe we'll see you March 20th. Uh, yeah. Call is that where it is? Uh, telephone 323 737 And it's on Wilshire Boulevard, too.